Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, I mean, to have my back because I have yours. This will be a reading in regards to love to see where you are. Um, again, I can't stress enough to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. All right, we are going to pull and get a message to see swords and roses. Bottom of the deck is twin flames, yin yang, imbalance, union, and duality, com completement, and um, polar opposite. So you are opposite of your so-called twin flame or whatever you consider it but karmic relationship shows underneath the bottom of the deck resentment triggers perception intensity and letting go turmoil and fleeting so there you have it yeah karmic relationship so uh swords and roses it says clarity and truth revelations honor protection and determination so that is what you have been dealing with when it comes to this certain situation unsure energy comes out twice so passion, it says, um, magnetic, magnetic attraction and passion. And then it says not non-committal and independent. So this person that you're unsure about is, uh, you know, uh, there is attraction there, but to you, you know, it's non-committal. It's a card that fell on the floor, dating, meeting someone new. So you are over the twin flame dynamic signs and meanings. You're looking at everything. With a fine tooth comb, let me get the card that came fell out, and it fell out in the reverse. Oh no, in the upright, healing and releasing. Yeah, you're over it. Like I said, you're over this energy. You have clarity. You know exactly what it is that you need to be a part of. Look, this card stayed here. I'll keep it there. Um, you know exactly what it is. Yeah, the flow. You've been you water energy, right? You've gone with the flow, and now it's time for you to release the situation. You are unsure about whether this is. And attraction, if it's passion, lust, love, more unsure energy, yeah, decisions. You have, you, yeah, you have to make a decision, but you hesitate when it comes to releasing and uh, healing, but, or to find someone new because that's what comes out. But you're looking at things in a new perspective. Uh, bottom of the deck is movement. Yeah, you're moving forward, commit competition. Yeah, you're not letting anything, the signs and the meanings and things like that, you're not letting anything stop you. No competition. The decision, it will be based upon how you feel, not about what they're doing. It's about your feelings, your emotions, what it is that you need to do when it comes to rose again, comes out twice. When it comes to love, um, a joy and uh, surprising energies, uh, fatigue. Yeah, it's time for you to take a break when it comes to uh, extremely fast fleeting loss water yeah again the flow fatigue time out break half time resources wealth and opportunities you're looking at everything that has been presented to you and basically you're just like nope i have to make this decision i'm looking at things from a new perspective it's time for me to release and heal because i'm tired i'm tired of you know uh knowing and not really um putting it to the forefront of you know, this person is non-committal. It's not just about passion anymore. It's not about that that uh, that gut instinct feeling. Yeah, heavy burdens. Yeah, ten of, ten of wands energy. Yeah, it's not just about the energies of. Yeah, look at that. The toxic energy. You're you're leaving it all behind. Queen of wands energy. Yeah, supportive of ambition and business and success. You're confident in regards to yourself. Oh, let me put it under here. Yeah, but you've been patiently waiting for this person. Seven of Pentacles, seven years you've been waiting for this person to actually make movement, to actually get out of the kid zone, out of the plan zone. And now you're just like the toxicity. This looks like to me, don't pass, go collect, don't collect your $200 um, and move forward. You know what I mean? So devil energy, toxic energy. You're like, I'm leaving it all behind, Eight of Cups energy, because I'm tired of trying to make things, uh, make decisions in regards to, not really paying attention to the non-committal part of it, but now you're confident enough within yourself, uh, Queen of Wands energy, uh, you're confident within yourself on why it is that you need to move forward. And, you know, that is where you are. So, you know, the burdens that are there, but you have to make those decisions 
for yourself. Yeah, we have the world. Yeah. End of a chapter. Look, did you see how that card came out? Yeah, resist and surrender. So end of a chapter, the world energy completion. There has been completion in regards to why and how you're not going to stay resisting surrender. You're not resisting this anymore. Um, yeah, three of swords energy uh, in the reverse and the empress in the upright. Yeah, you see the beauty in yourself. You've nurtured this situation. There is, it says, uh, overcoming sorrow in the reverse, three of swords. It says letting go. Again, you're letting go to, uh, again moving forward where's that leaving it all behind letting go uh three of swords energy and also releasing the the pain the negative energies and not really just uh you know just recovering from the energy not really uh making things uh over complicated yeah uh four swords time for non-action so again not trying to make things uh work anymore not going with the flow seeing things in a new perspective again isolation going within so you've been in hermit mode four cups energy um with the four swords we got the fours out here proactive focus engagement the four cups is in the reverse uh enthusiasm for life great gra uh, gratitude re-engage and seize the day so your confidence is there you're not taking action uh time for non-action taking a break healing recalibrating retreatment um i said retreatment retreat silence and going within you're not wasting your time anymore swords come out three different times so lots of air energy here um yeah lots of air energy could be dealing with the air sign but it says epiphany clarity force decisive communicate ideas compel focus truth and vision you are where you need to be you have looked at everything right now at the bottom of the decks underneath the bottom of the decks because this is the bottom of the decks we have karmic relationship signs love meanings competition um, we have wait, paid, patiently waiting, and uh, we have water energy opportunities, and we have the awareness of insight, okay? And so that is where you are aware of seeing things in a new perspective, actually moving forward, leaving things all behind, the burdens, the, the, the toxicity, you know, and you're just isolating yourself, not really trying to... to um, even tr try to make excuses on why you're doing it or even trying to explain why you're going to do something or why you have to move forward. You're just moving forward. This hurts so bad. I don't know. Well, it's, it's healed now, but it's so ugly on my hand. Ah. Anyway, so yeah, it's like you have clarity. It's time for you to release, to heal, to move forward, to leave everything behind, to not even try to deal with what the consequences, no, it's not going to be con consequences, but Consequences of your action, devil, energy, toxicity, but um, not to even deal with um, what somebody else feels. So your options and decisions are because you realize you went with the flow. The decisions are, even though you're unsure about what options you have or what's going to come to you in the future, you're just like, I'm aware of what, you know, what the past has brought to me. And to be honest with myself, I'll pull from the honest tarot, to be honest with myself, look at that. You deserve someone better than me. Um, yeah, to be honest with myself, uh, it's basically you're saying, you know, I'm going to leave it all behind, see things from a new perspective, not be mad or sad about the decisions that I decide to make. Yeah, create the life you want. Exactly. You're creating the life you want and going from there. You see how all those cards came out? That one is you are too, you're too beautiful for words. Bottom of the deck is uh, will you pick me? So somebody wants you to pick them you just have to understand self-expression creativity drama and play the way and this is the fifth house the way that you want to be loved and the things that you want you're going to be open with that moving forward you're not going to allow anybody to take your joy you know if they don't love you the way you love or the love you how you want to be loved then that's the point of you moving forward you're learning that but remember no man is your enemy no man is your friend Every man is your teacher. These are kind of unsure. I'll turn them over. Yeah, you make me so happy. A leap, full energy. Emotions are not facts. So many choices, so little time. Not right now. And I've lost everything. Um, third eye chakra. Yeah, awareness. Yes, awareness, spiritual communication. It's, it's like looking in a mirror. What goes around comes around. I'm scared to face you. You're always on my mind. Let me, let me take you away. And I miss you. So these are the energies that this person is feeling. But you know what? It's not about you anymore. There is somebody else 
in your life and this person is coming back around asking will you pick them and you've chose to lose leave this all behind and your perception and your awareness and your spiritual communication that you've had in the past has caused you to be strong enough to be able to say no and no matter how much a person misses you or not you're you've already dealt with the toxicity and you're not entertaining that anymore the clarity is is that as soon as they feel like they're leave, they're losing you they're going to come back around and try to disrupt disrupt everything and so you're not allowing that you're not allowing that anymore I pull, um, I pull from the unsent messages um, by Anwar's Tarot. Yeah, I pull from the unsent messages by Anwar's Tarot because again, the thing is, is that there is a lack of passion, a lack of uh, commitment when it comes to this person, and you, no matter what they say and how they do it, you realize that if you put yourself back in the situation, it's going to be the exact same way. And so the best thing for you to do is just to leave it all behind and entertain new people. And so, but it's still that what if or what you want to know um, when it comes to this person. Why, you know, what, what took them so long? Why seven years? Can we just talk? Yeah, see, they want to talk. Oops. I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it. See? And that's the bottom of the deck underneath there. You gave, you gave the love you said you didn't have. Uh, to someone else exactly so that is probably something that you told them in the past that you had um I was about to sing a Monica song I got love all over me um that came out but when Monica's song came into my head when it popped into my head I thought it was Keisha Cole's uh I've changed my mind y'all know I can't sing um um, I don't love you no more. That song, you know what I mean? So um, I think that's where they, what did I say? I've changed my mind. Yeah, anyway, when I heard, when I saw love or heard love all over me, I saw Keisha Cole singing that. But what it really felt like to me was that that song uh, with Kanye West, Keisha Cole, um, I'm from the Bay Area. So that was a, a big hit when, um, and a big thing when Keisha Cole's, uh, Keisha Cole's, uh, I don't know, I can't say Cole. Keisha Cole um, hooked up with Kanye West. That was a really good thing. That was like a start, not a start of her career. But anyway, um, yeah, that is how I see that energy. So again, as soon as somebody, I don't love you no more. As soon as you get to that point, they realize that. Then they come back around. And so you're not entertaining that. Um yeah, you're not entertaining that. You had to go on a spiritual journey in order to get out of the situation to where you are trying to um, not let this affect you of why you kept going with the flow and why you kept allowing. That's just who you are, nourishment, yeah, and protection. You had to protect your energy. There, the need to energetically, to ener the need for energetic, emotional, and physical boundaries is necessary for you at this time. Energetically, emotional are the reasons why you end up letting this person come back in because those emotions that that energy that you guys have when you're around each other again you ask is it passion is it lust is it love and you're unsure but it's the energy that you guys exchange so when you start to think about that that person feels that and then it comes around so that's 5d love yeah you are a light worker and it says you are a powerful being on earth capable of shining in a a healing light on humanity and yes you are but you have to protect your energy from how people will use that and take advantage of it nourishment it says your body mind and soul are sacred feed yourself only that which nourishes you in the most healthy way possible again this is not nourishing you this back and forth this unsure energy of this person the perception is is that they need to the spiritual communication see again when you start to really get to a point to where you're over them they feel that they can't feel your energy anymore you cut that off then they want to come back around and I've lost everything without you um you're always on my mind I miss you you know uh let me take you away that's just the going that round and round and round uh world energy you know 360 back to going with the flow and then everything you'll be the one losing everything again you know, after seven years of them playing games still. So you're not entertaining it. So regardless on if you're always on their mind, SWV, 
You're always on my mind. Thinking about you, thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. But yes, I send strength and healing to you. That's just where I'm at at this present moment in the 5D. You're not entertaining phone calls. You're not entertaining anything. The messages, it's just like they want to talk. But when they had the opportunity to talk, now they're going to try to put make you feel get bad. You gave the love you said you didn't have for, to someone else. And will you pick them? I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it. They're not ready to accept the connection in the 5D, the 3D, the 4D, the 17D, the 18D. Because they're still childish after seven years, seven of pentacles. Each pentacle is equivalent to a year. And that is why it's just like, no, it's time to let it go. Let it go. Let it flow. That doesn't mean it won't happen down the line. But right now you're still in the healing process and it's time for, to nourish yourself. So we're going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements and also the crystal deck. I think that was a really good reading. Oh, look pretty. Cher Cherite is purple. Yep. Third eye and crown chakra. So the third eye crown chakra, if you want to know my perspective of the chakras, click the links up above and also the four agreements. Um, the four agreement says, don't make assumptions, speak openly and honestly. Again, whoever comes back into your life, moving forward, you're going to say exactly how you want to be loved. You're going to talk about everything and, and, and feel. And if that person isn't where you need to be, or they are not vibing with you, then the only thing you can do is move forward and protect your energy. Don't get back into where you're making assumptions that somebody understands how you feel or you guys have this connection, this unbreakable connection. No, that's called lust. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just say what you want, open it open. And honestly, you're going to say exactly what you're looking for. Here's the thing. I want a tree house. I want to move off grid. I don't want to be around anybody. I want my neighbors to be five miles away. I want to be able to see who comes around. I want to have authentic people in my life. I want to have parties every other month. I want I want to build a uh, a lagoon in the middle of nowhere uh, and us two to sit on it and have bonfires together, not just with family, but just us two. You're going to say everything that you want moving forward. And if they think it's funny and they're like, OK, well, then you're not entertaining it. So that's when you're going to be open and honest with everything that you want in regards to love. Even you're not going to hold on to the negative things, but you're going to communicate what it was that triggered you um in a way to where you're not opening up your whole life to this person and the 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 turmoil that you went through but you're going to be able to understand why you end the last chapter uh in your life and move forward so it says when you speak openly and honestly you won't have to make assumptions the day you stop making assumptions you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccability of your word and that is what this lesson was here for no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you this lesson and that's to be open and honest with everything moving forward the third eye and crown chakra is transformation acceptance and insight and insight again transformation acceptance and insight i see clearly so that i may become my true self and that is what you are so thank this person in the 5d Send strength and healing to them. You remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. Now let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.